I'm Morgan from Whole Latte Love, and today I'm going to show you how to make my amazing mocha balls. I love this recipe because it's relatively easy to make and there's no baking required. And also, it's always a hit when I bring it to parties. Here's what you'll need. 55 vanilla wafers, one cup of chopped almonds, a half cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, four and a half teaspoons of light corn syrup, a double shot of espresso, and three cups of semi-sweet chocolate morsels. So the first thing I'm gonna do is brew my shot of espresso so that I give it a couple minutes to cool off before adding it to the rest of my ingredients. And the coffee I'm gonna be using is very appropriate for this recipe. It's Clatch Coffee's Mocha Java. This is a really nice coffee and it was rated 91 points by Coffee Review and it is available at wholelattelove.com. So I'm gonna be brewing my shot on the Jura Ina Micro 9. It does a really nice job with espresso and it has this nice sleek modern design which I really like. All right, let's get that shot going. So the next step is you just want to crush up your vanilla wafers. So I'm gonna do that um, just putting them into a freezer bag here. And just crush them up. So the next step is to just put all of your ingredients into a bowl and mix together, with the exception of the chocolate morsels. We're gonna save those and melt them in just a little bit. All right, now that it's well mixed, I can tell it's gonna stick together nicely. So we're just gonna form about 30 balls and transfer to a plate. All right, my balls are all rolled, so the next step is to just take your semi-sweet morsels and you're gonna microwave these. We're gonna do 30 seconds on high. Then you're gonna remove it, stir it, give it another 20 seconds, or just make sure it's nice and melted and smooth. All right, our chocolate's nice and melted. Now we just need to take our mocha balls, cover them in chocolate, and then transfer them over to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. All right, now that they're all covered in chocolate, we just need to chill these in the fridge for 30 minutes. And I cannot wait to sink my teeth into one of these. All right. All right, 30 minutes in the fridge and they are done. Don't they look good? Now for the fun part, time to taste one. Mm. They are amazing. Next time you wanna impress your guests at a dinner party, make sure you make Morgan's Mocha Balls. I'm Morgan from Whole Latte Love. Thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Oh.